Welcome back to another edition of the St. Mary of the Woods College Sprint Football Show with head coach Blaine Powell. Coach, a big homecoming victory yeah. over Oakland yeah, City great win. on great Saturday, win. thirty-seven nothing. Yep, that's what we uh, that's what we wanted to do right <laughs> there, man. You can't ask for any more than that. Well, you uh, you've been talking for a couple of weeks about really wanting to get the ground game more involved and yeah it seemed like you were able to establish that a little a uh, little more early on in this game yeah we were i mean we, we ended up with over 200 yards rushing and uh you know darren had over, over 100 and and didn't play in the second half yeah. uh felt like we were really good up front um really all day uh we had a film session yesterday and i, I told the guys uh that you know, the thing that I liked was, you know, we're up 30 to nothing, but yet we were just as physical, just as aggressive in the second half as we were the first half. So very, very proud of our, uh, the work our offensive line did. Uh, Oakland City did make it uh, more difficult in the passing game, um, but still uh, Devon Johnson was uh, six catches in the game and uh, Toski was able to spread it around a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the way they the way they played us, which we knew they were, you know, they're going to keep everything in front of them, not really give us the deep ball. And, you know, maybe we forced the deep ball a little bit a few times. But, um, you know, uh, uh, really, I mean, we, we moved the ball when we needed to. We made plays when we needed to. Uh, uh, Jeremiah made some plays with his legs, too. And, uh, you know, really, I mean, really, it was a, it was a good all-around game on offense. And, you know, we've talked – for the first few weeks of the year, you know, shut out in the second half, shut out in the second half, only allowing uh, the defense w didn't allow any points. Maybe the offense did, uh, uh, but this was a full game shutout that the defense put, it, put yeah, together this yeah, time. Yeah, it was a very, very good performance by our defense. I mean, I think it was toward the end of the third quarter before they even had positive yards rushing. Uh, so, uh, you know, we had guys in the backfield all day and, you know, that's what we wanted to do. We moved Peyton Metzger over from offensive line to defensive line. And, uh, he stood out as far as somebody that was in the backfield a lot. Uh, Gary Settle had a really good game. Nick Crone was good. Like he always is up yep. front. Uh, really all of our defensive linemen did a great job. And then, uh, really like what I saw from our, uh, our linebackers, uh, you know, Without, you know, we lost uh, Jake and, and Christian the week before against Quincy. So we're coming in with really, you know, two new starters. I mean, Brandon had played quite a bit, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, Justin Wiggins came in and played excellent in the first half. I mean, he kind of set the tone for the game or, you know, on their second play of the game, he causes a fumble and Jesse Lara recovered it. And then, uh, you know, Caden Matsky came in and played well in the second half. Nolan Noel played uh, well in the second half at inside linebacker. But, you know, it was, uh, it was a really good game for our defense. I mean, it felt like, you know, we wanted to be physical. I mean, that was the key with, to, to beating a team like that because they're, they're a very physical team. And uh, I felt like we kind of, you know, took it to them early and, and uh, it paid off. And uh, your offensive cut. Converts, uh, Metzger, he's, he still put points on the board for yeah. you with the safety. Yeah, yeah, him and I think him and Gary and Justin were all back there at the same time yeah. and uh, got us a couple points that way. And <laughs> you know, it, it's uh, we were we were very aggressive with, with with our play calling and with with the way we played, and, and uh, you know, it paid off for us. Uh, I thought special teams uh, was impressive. You hit, you hit all your kicks, and uh, the punt game put you into some. Uh, it flipped the field a couple of times for you. Yeah, yeah, and we, yeah, we had good coverage on on kickoff and and on punt. Uh, Holtman did a good job uh, with you know punting, put them down in their own end a couple times there. And then uh, on kickoff, uh, Wardlaw, you know, he's kicking it deep, kicking it high like we want him to. And then our coverage team is doing a really good job. So uh, you know, special teams are so important, especially this time of year. Yeah, here on the you know the stretch run, and uh, really feel like. You know, going into this Bellarmine game, if you look back a year ago, uh, it was our special teams that, that really ultimately kind of lost that game for us more than anything. We just had a lot of mistakes in, this, in special teams. And, uh, you know, one thing that, that I look at in the stat sheet that really stood out to me also was, uh, our, you know, our penalties were down. Yes. Uh, yeah. You know, we only had, I think we had seven for 65 or something like that. But we didn't have those after the play whistle, you know, the after the play flags and, and anything like that. So... Uh, you know, that's, that's what we want. We got, we got to play the game right. And, and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be just fine. 
Uh, there's a lot of talk every week uh, about Jeremiah Toski. Well deserved. He's a heck of a player. But uh, this game, you were able to mix in a couple of guys that Pomeroy fans haven't been able to see a whole lot of, unless you've been out at practice. And uh, I thought the backups threw some really nice balls as well. Oh yeah, Carter Hall. I mean, Carter and, and Carter Hall and Xander Hunt. Um, both of them, uh, we have complete faith, faith in that if we ha if if we need to need them for anything, we're not we're not we won't hesitate yeah. to put them in. Uh, they do a great job preparing. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, Carter watches a ton of film. I know, and uh, he's he's got himself prepared. I mean, we wouldn't we wouldn't change our game plan at all, uh, bringing in either one of those guys. So uh, it's a great quarterback room, and uh, you know, even Keon Smith, who's a little bit behind those guys, he does a great job with our scout team. Yep. He runs the other team's offense and and uh, you know prepares our defense really well. So uh, really proud of our QB room with the work they're doing. I, I thought it was a, a tremendous atmosphere, a school record. 1,215 fans uh, showed up at Jay Barrett Field. Uh, really capped off a nice weekend. Um, you know, cross country, uh, Thomas Chapman had a big big run out at, on the east side of town, volleyball with a couple of wins. Uh, equestrian, they, they just beat Purdue mm -hmm. and IU like it's going out of style That's every awesome. week. Um, and then you guys, uh, in front of the big crowd, uh, take down Oakland City. It was a really nice homecoming weekend. Oh, it was. It was great. I mean, you know, I think there's a lot of people still in the Wabash Valley that, you know, were, were still kind of hidden from it. It seems like, a, you know, kind of a hidden secret, a hidden gem, I, yeah. I always call it, you know. But, uh, you know, if they would just come out and watch, watch these, these teams, I mean, there's some great athletes uh, on this campus and, and some great coaches and, and – uh, you know, we we've got we've got a good thing going here, and and you know, if people just come out and check it out, man. It's 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 a great thing to watch, and 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 our crowd was was awesome as they always are, yeah. um, you know, and and I just feel like you know we've got the opportunity to really grow this, and uh, you know, get more people out here to watch, you know, our vol our men's and women's volleyball team too is uh, exceptional. Softball's always been great, yep. uh, you know, so I mean. You know, we're getting ready to start basketball up, and and we know what both basketball teams are capable of, and uh, I mean we we'd love to see more people come out and check us out. Yeah, you're right. Uh, kind of like a a good restaurant hidden on First Street in Terre Haute. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. once yeah, people no try it once, they keep yeah. coming back. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we're going to talk about a, a big trip uh, down south for your program when we come back. Uh, you're watching the St. Mary of the Woods Sprint Football. Coaches Show with Blaine Powell. We are presented, as always, by Quality Roofing of Indiana. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the St. Mary of the Woods College Sprint Football Coaches Show. My name is Ace Hunt, alongside the coach Blaine Powell. We're presented, as always, by Quality Roofing of Indiana. Quality Roofing was worth over 100 yards rushing uh, yeah. with Darren Hazard yeah. this past week. And uh, we're hoping to take that ground game on the road uh, to Bellarmine on, uh, on Saturday. Kickoff will be at 1 p.m. Uh, down at St. Xavier High School in Louisville. And uh, Bellarmine three and one on the season. Got a heck of a quarterback and a running back. It's going to be a big challenge. Yeah, I mean they they always are. I mean you know they they beat us last year in double overtime and uh, you know but they they do have a really good quarterback. He's a freshman. Um, he's he's right up there, if not leading the league in passing now, right up there with Jeremiah. Uh, but uh, you know and then they bring uh, Brennan Reed, uh, running back, uh, who's you know. This is his third year, and we know him well. He knows us yeah. well. I mean, he's he's a battering ram in there, you know. And uh, and then they have the uh, Gant kid, who's is really probably their all around best athlete and best. You know, they move him around and, and get him the ball in different ways. And uh, you know, it doesn't stop there with him. I mean, a great receiving core. So I mean, we we definitely have to be ready uh, on defense this week. And uh, you know, offensively, we just have to execute and. Uh, you know, do what we have to do against their defense. Their defense is uh, much like we faced this week. Uh, you know, they like to keep things in front of them. Yeah. 
we're going to have to be patient. We're going to have to have a good running game and, uh, you know, pick our spots when we can when hit the deep ball or, or you know, possess it the best we can in the short game. So, um, you know, looking forward to the trip, though. It's a great place to play. I'm sure there will be a lot of fans there. I know, uh, you know, Gary Settles uh, from that area, and he's looking forward to go going back home and playing in front of a lot of people. So, uh, you know, hopefully we, we usually travel really well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's uh, really looking forward to it. All right. And Bellerman coming off a tough overtime loss at Calumet College of St. Joseph on Saturday. They led virtually all of uh, regulation. Yeah, and yeah, a heartbreaker uh, for them. Um, you know, they looked like they were in position to win, so mm -hmm. it's just a tough place to play up there at Calumet. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, we, we've played there several times, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it is. It's a tough place to play, and Calumet is a very talented team, very well coached. And, you know, that was a that was a heavyweight match there between those two. I yep. mean, you know, there was a lot of knockout punches thrown and neither team gave up and neither, neither team quit. And, uh, you know, it's just a testament to the uh, improvement the league is seeing, really. You, you see great games like that and, yes. and you see, you know, the quality on the field. And, and uh, you know, it's it was a it was a great game to watch. And really, you hate to see either team lose that game. You know, it's yep. one of those. But, uh, but, you know, Calumet made a great comeback and I'm sure uh, I'm sure Bellerman kind of, you know, has a sour taste in their mouth, mouth heading into this game. So, what's um, one or two things that you're really going to work on this week that you want to emphasize to get that win down in Louisville on Saturday? I mean, I, I think it starts with being sound on special teams, just like every week. I mean, we got to do things right on special teams, make the plays that we have to play or need to need to make, have to make. And, uh, you know, and then, then, uh, then it goes to the defensive side of the ball. I mean, they're a very good offensive team. Uh, you know, the best offense, offensive team we've faced this year. Uh, they present problems in the, uh, in the run game and the passing game. So we're going to have to be very sound, going to have to tackle well, uh, you know, play physical like we have been. And then on offense, you know, we, we need to execute uh, the run game. Uh, it starts there for us and, uh, you know, cut out the penalties. And, uh, you know, really, you know, we, we got to cut the turnovers out. I mean, that, that, yeah. that in a game like that, in a game like this, the, you know, turnovers are big, just like they are every yeah. week. But in this one, it's, they're even uh, magnified even more. Got that. Well, uh, good luck to you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you've been watching the St. Mary Woods College Sprint Football Coaches Show with Blaine Powell. Uh, my name is Ace Hunt. Thanks for tuning in. And thank you to Quality Roofing of Indiana for your support of our program all season long. Go Pomeroy's. Mm -hmm.